Cathedral of San Mark in Abbasia, Cairo, Egypt, a historical day on the choice of the 118th Pope, Pope Tawadros II. I'm honored and privileged to have with me um, Father Gerges from Long Island, New York. Abuna, thank you for coming. I'm sure you were in the election and now you came today. So how do you feel? Uh, I feel great. It's, uh, it's a blessing to be here today. I think God have listened to our prayers, have listened to our fasting, uh, and he chose uh, the best one for this position in the eyes of God. In Acts chapter 2, where Amba read, there is a prayer that says, God who looks at the hearts of people. Yes. I know you may not know Pope Tawadros very well, but from your knowledge and what you read, can you comment on the heart? I, I, it doesn't mean that the hearts of the other is less. Yes. It means that his heart is the one ready for this position right yes. now. Right. I, I don't read it as better or worse. I read it as the most suitable one for the time being. Yeah. I have dealt with uh, His Grace uh, uh, Raphael. Bishop Tawadros before oh. and uh, the best thing that I have felt about him that he's so humble he doesn't make you feel uh, any less. When you deal with him he respects you and he respects everyone. He's very knowledgeable, he's very well educated uh, and he's very humble. That's the word to say. Abuna, in the, in the interview that uh, His Grace Bishop Paul had with Bishop Tawadros before he became Pope, it was very clear he was talking about delegation and committees. Can you comment on the organizational skills that needed for the new Pope? The, the easy answer is just, he was the disciple of, of Amba Bakhomis. Yes. If he was serving with Amba Bakhomis for 20 years, and you can tell how much we are all impressed and we are all thankful for what Amba Bukhum says this in the last few months, you can tell if he was serving with him for the last 20 years at least, that he must be uh, very well in organization. Uh, and I think this is the style of Amba Bukhum and of Amba Tawadrus. Uh, information, organization, education, uh, planning for the future, and in the same time, which is amazing, very spiritual, very, very spiritual uh, and very direct. And very? Very direct. Yeah. And Baba Khomis is amazing in how he makes the difficult things look so easy. And uh, I think that Amba Tawadros will give us the same quality. Uh, with the blessing of God, for all. And, and from the way you are speaking, do you think Amba Khomis will have a, a big role to play with the new Pope since he was almost his mentor before and people must know that even the Pope needs a mentor yes. needs a father of confession and everybody definitely Ambatawadrus will go so many times to Amba Bakhomis for advice uh, and Amba Bakhomis in, in a very humble way will lead will lead him spiritually without being there I just want to say about Amba Bakhomis he reminds me of what John the Baptist did he prepared the way for Christ oh, very nice he prepared the way in a very humble way. He was never confused about his position. He was not ever looking forward for a, a higher position. He knew exactly when to come and when to leave. Yes. And the one who is least than him in age is going to be higher than him in position. Abuna, speaking about the organization, today's liturgy was such a magnificent organization. Can you comment on the procedure of the selection? What did you feel about it? You know the amazing thing that we at this age, sometimes we think our mind that this might not be the best way. Maybe we should choose the better or the best with our minds, with prayers, but no need for the lot. But I want to tell you it added another dimension completely. Everybody was waiting for God to say something. Like we said our word, we did our homework, but we need hands, the hands of God to choose something. We're not quite sure of our choices. And I think this has added that dimension. And uh, I saw tears in the eyes of almost everyone. And joy even from the people who did not choose Ambatawdrus and their choice, 
they were as happy as the others. Yes. Amazingly, Abuna, we were all content with the three, regardless of whom God to choose. Yes. But everybody was so joyful when Pope Tawadros was also selected, which tells you that the will of God really makes the peace on everyone and the joy. Yes, uh, yes. And, I, and I think really that Amba Bachomius will leave uh, an impression on yes. the Coptic Church for a long time. Yes. In that small time, he will affect the Coptic Church for a long time. Abuna, we are heard by so many youth in the immigration land. And unfortunately, the Egyptian style sometimes is, is claimed to be a very non-organizational and very non-chaotic. What do you think would change in their minds after seeing the procedure of today? I think it's, it's, it's a mistake that we think less of ourselves. Yes. It's a big mistake. We're not less than anyone else. We can do as good as anyone else. If we're given the chance and we're given the trust, we can do a perfect job as we did today and in the last few months. I wonder if you have the honor to say, for example, I would like to recommend or suggest to the new pope the first priority of files that he need to, at to attack him or to, to attack. What would you prioritize for him? I think arranging the house from inside first. You have to arrange the house from inside. Yeah. So then when you face the outside, you're strong enough. Uh, definitely, there is a lot of work inside. A lot of healing, a lot of uh, preparing spiritually the people. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough time for the Coptic Church. Yeah. And uh, we cannot get the toughness from our humanity. We need the toughness that comes from the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. And I can tell and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking that this is what's going to happen. We're going to become more close to God, more close to one another. Then we're going to face the outside with the strengths that no one can stand in front. And it's not our strength, it's strength of the Holy Spirit in us. That's including all the currents of Muslim brotherhoods and all the currents in Egypt. Do you think that strengthening inside is the message that we need to have today? Yes. I, I, you know what? If we go back to God in a humble way, I'm not going to be surprised that things can turn around and, and the others who think they are strong and many would fear every step and every word that we would say. The, it's a new beginning. It's another step. All the steps were good, but I think today it's the beginning of a new step that's going to be more strong than, than, we, than what we think. And again, and I know that I'm repeating that, I want to thank Amba Bafomis because he prepared all of us for the coming. Today in the liturgy, while we're talking about the Pope, he was talking about the missionary work. Yes, I noticed that. Yeah. If you read between the lines, he was trying to tell everyone, we're not weak, we're strong, and we're going to witness to Christ, and we're going to reach out to others, and they're going to listen. Yes. I was very surprised that he brought, I thought, a very strange topic yes. to the event, but yes. you made a great point that he was really preparing the stage for us to move on. Yes. yes. Thank you thank very much, Yohuna. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here. Again, a very historical day. The Pope is being named. Pope Tawadros II. We are all excited, we are all joyful. The work of the Holy Spirit have managed to bring us a Pope in a very short, amazing time. And thanks to the wisdom of the fathers, on head of them is Amba Bahamis.